special man syndrome. The most challenging, the most frustrating situation in gynecology. Intrauterine adhesions represents the real challenge for gynecologists because working into a very restricted small cavity without identifiable landmarks, without identifiable anatomy, might end into going in the wrong false track and perforation. So in this case of post cesarean section amenorrhea and total uh, obliteration of uterine cavity as you have seen in the hysterosalpingography was attempted just last week by hysteroscopy. Let me share with you some tips and tricks for the techniques of Asherman surgery. So just probing the fundus by the scissor, trying to touch and feel. Again, I say touch and feel. The consistency of fibrous tissue is different than the consistency of adhesions, different than the myometrium. So I started by probing at the fundus. People ask me, how do you know the direction? My answer is, I don't know the direction. I just probe push the scissor and feel the tactile sensation. Just feel the resistance of the tissue. Sometimes I'm wrong, I'm mistaken, I keep on cutting into the myometrium. But by uh, repeated uh, experience, uh, your hands will feel the uh, reflex sensation or the tactile sensation of the tissues. So after probing the fundus, I realized I might not be in the proper track. So change your strategy, never hesitate to change your strategy immediately. There is no much time to spend inside the uterine cavity. So I decided to neglect the fundus and cut into what you see now, what is the lateral wall adhesions. It's like a columns of adhesions, like a big uh, wall. And the color of the tissues is whitish, which could be dense fibrosis or fibrous adhesions, or could be a myometrium. How could you know? My answer, humbly, I don't know. I just feel. And the feeling by the scissors get you the courage to continue or to stop or to change the direction. I push the scissor forward, cut and pull the scissor back like that, okay? So this gives you a chance to have a panoramic view and assessment of your work. If the scissor all the way, all the time forward and occupy a surface area of the monitor view, you lose the panoramic uh, image. So again, push the, server, the, the scissors forward, open the blade, Identify the tissues to be cut, cut, and pull back again. Cut like this, and pull back. So don't keep the scissor all the way forward. This is a very important tip. And keep a proper intra-triumph loop. I say proper, I don't say high or low. A pressure enough to maintain the cavity distended and have a panoramic view. What is this? There is some different color tissues appeared at this hole yes all the time when you cut your eyes work with your hands again i call this shawky tips all right your eyes working with your hands not only cutting hysteroscopy is a tissue or asherman surgery is a tissue structure surgery what does it mean tissue structure that you have to identify and differentiate between the color of the endometrium, the myometrium, the dense fibrosis, and the thin endometrial or the atrophic endometrium uh, hidden behind the adhesion. 
So here I'm looking for that. And now, the most enjoyable moment in Asher Mansur. Truly the most enjoyable happiness beyond description. When you reach some color of tissues of a healthy or just little atrophic endometrium, or you reach a landmark. Here, this is the landmark. Yes, look at this. Anybody has a guess what is that? Use the scissor as a retractor. First cut, cut, and try to push the lens and look here. Yes, that's an ostium. So the color of the tissues, the texture tells you that you reach the ostium. This is the landmark. I think everybody watching the video now feeling happy so can you imagine how it was looking in the beginning it was totally obliterated cavity once you identify uh, the anatomy of the ostium so now I know my GPS your GPS point is the tubal ostium which tells you your level that you keep cutting now I move from one ostium cutting going laterally to the opposite side trying to reach the other ostium. So, my dear friends, this surgery I'm showing today is not a demonstration of just a difficult Asherman surgery. It's a demonstration of perseverance, confidence, hope, and nothing is impossible. Cutting into the fibrosis, be prepared now to enter the other corneal. Yes, this is the healthy endometrium and showing a beautiful endometrial lining on the opposite side, corneal and visualizing the tubal ostium. Again, this is the most happy moment that a surgeon can experience in a case of a totally obliterated cavity when you find the light, when you find the north star, your GPS points, both tubal ostia were exposed. So now you realize your anatomy, you identify the topography, so you feel confident to cut more into whatever looks white adhesions, trying to reach from left to side, expanding the fundus from one ostia to uh, ostia, and expanding from kephal caudal from the level of internal os toward the fundus to open the cavity in both directions. Stay with the video till the happy moments like that. Yes. So this lady has some islands of good endometrium release and total uh, clean out of the cavity from the fibrosis hoping that creation of the space keeping it distended giving her some supplements to stimulate the growth and proliferation of the medium she might have absolutely normal cavity Stay with me, more tips coming.
the rules of using the scissors, push forward, open the blade, push one blade into the adhesions, cut and pull the scissors back like that. So you have a chance to evaluate your performance. Keep moving the, the, the scissors in and out to maintain good visibility. So this is one tubal osteum. Some islands at the fundus of healthy endometrium, very healthy endometrium, but it was dormant like the sleeping beauty. So how to wake up the endometrium, how to give the kiss of the prince to the sleeping beauty to wake up back again and come to life. So I'm demonstrating with you my technique that I tried, I uh, designed long time ago, which is subendometrial platelet rich plasma injection subendometrial the technique of prp is well known long time ago but subendometrial injection is my idea uh, i have some friends who also advise intramyometrial but as you see here the needle is pushed just in the sub-endometrial space. Some of the friends might tell that Osama everything looks white. Yes, it's white, but because of the endometrium is atrophic and very thin. At the end of the surgery, we are afraid that what we have created might glue back again and get uh, adherent together and the cavity will be occluded. So, uh, this beautiful uh, idea, everybody knows that insertion of a Foley's catheter is a standard procedure after creation of the space in Asherman. But what I added more and what I advise is that you insert the balloon under vision. So you can do assessment of a proper placement of the balloon. It's not very low down or uh, kinked inside. And also assessment of the amount of a fluid to distendable. Now you can see the the fool is very well and my assistant now injects slowly the saline to inflate the balloon under vision like that. So this is a beautiful idea which I provide to all my friends to see the amount of this tension of the balloon because if you inflated the balloon too much the patient will feel severe pain after recovery and she will not tolerate to maintain the balloon inside. So this procedure is real time. You have attended the full surgery with me and I send all my best wishes to all my friends, colleagues all over the world. That's Osama Shauki and thank you very much.